Hey there YouTubers, alright, so this is kind of like a review of this here Gigabyte Eagle RX 6500 XT, of course this is an AMD Let's go ahead and look at the outside of the box so you can see that aspect So it was 1080p, 4 gig, PCIe 4.0 um, This is got to be the absolute worst PCIe 4.0 card I ever bought. I honestly feel like it's worse than the RX 5500 XT. Like they took a step back. Obviously, 5500 XT there was a 4 gig, 8 gig version. 8 gig version I own. I like that a lot better than this. I don't. I've never done a side by side comparison with them, but it just for whatever reason feels like for the money that was a much better buy than this. Now. The cheapest one of these you'll find out there, I believe, is about $229. Uh, this particular one cost me $249. Limited monitor outputs on this. In case you actually have more than two monitors, you've got DisplayPort and HDMI. But the performance, you know, 1080p low, 1080p medium. Uh, maybe some games you can get 1080p high. Good luck getting full epic. Maybe Fortnite, you know, 1080p epic, no shadows. But if you want to run this 144 hertz, um, you know, it's it's going to be hard unless you drop down your quality. It's definitely not a 1440p gaming graphics card, but most of you know that already. I just don't, you know, honestly, for 250. Is it worth 250? You know, in the used market, you get some better deals out there. What would be better? Obviously, spending a bit more money, right? But it's going to cost you 170 dollars more to jump up, probably to the next price point somewhere in there, to get an RX 6600. Huge difference between this and the RX 6600. The RX 6600 XT even greater performance difference. Personally, if you can get a RTX 3050 cheaper uh, or in the same price mark, price range, you're not going to get it cheaper. But if you can get it for 250 to 350, I would buy that over this any day of the week. Now, going back to what I said originally, RX 6600, like I said, huge jump. Obviously, more video RAM, much better performance. A lot more capability to get those uh, 1440p games going if you want that. Of course, that's not the ideal one for running 1440p Epic. But in the end, it turns out to be quite a much better graphics card. So um, this does not get my recommendation, folks. My review is a little late on this. Most of you probably won't give a shit. But uh, that's my thoughts. Now, what's my background? Well... Multiple gaming channels on here. Do a lot of tech unboxings. We own about 40 graphics cards now. I've probably purchased well over 100 graphics cards over the years. And that's that's that, folks. So, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.